So it's been 6 years since Bleach, the anime has ended in 2012, and if you're a fan of the series who stuck on to the very end, you probably continue the story through the manga till 2016. And I'm just gonna state this now, I liked how the manga ended even though so many fans felt betrayed and hated the ending. But I'm not here to talk about that. So why the heck am I talking about it right now? Well, if you love Bleach as much as I did and felt something was missing from your life, then I might possibly have something that might fill that void. Black Torch is a new manga by Siyoshi Takaki, and quite honestly, this might be the sole successor to Bleach. Pun fully intended. What's up guys, it's Kwan here, back with another video, and welcome to the long-awaited episode 2 of Manga First, a series where I take a look at the first volume of manga and give you my impression of it as fast as possible, and help determine whether or not it's worth to read. You can catch Manga First on the first Monday of every month, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and other anime and manga related content. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at Black Torch, a manga by Shiyoshi Takaki. Let's start with the main premise of the manga. The story follows the life of Jiro Azuma, a teenager who has the unique ability to talk to animals, and it wouldn't be a shonen manga if he didn't come from a long line of ninjas. Growing up, Jiro would get into a lot of fights in order to protect small animals, and you could say Jiro related more to animals than actual humans. But then one day, he rescues an injured stray cat named Raigo. He is a super powerful demon, or what this world calls them, Mononoke's. And shortly after that, another Mononoke attacks the two of them. But this one wants to use Raigo's power for evil and gravely injures Jiro. As Jiro encounters a near-death experience, he fuses with Raigo and gains the supernatural ability that's able to take the demon down. However, soon after that, a SWAT light team takes them into custody. He wakes up in a hospital and soon learns that there is a secret government society called the Bureau of Espionage. Apparently, they have a long history in Japan and originally served for the shoguns, and that they specialize in taking down Monokes. Since Jiro has fused with Raigo, they see Jiro as a threat and quite possibly might need to be eliminated. Jiro escapes however, but tries to return home. Unfortunately, Jiro's life will no longer be the same. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail at this point because I might spoil something for you, but let me take a moment to talk about the similarities it has with Bleach and why you might consider picking this series up. Let's start with the protagonist, Jiro and Ichigo. Other than their names ending in O, their powers look quite similar to one another. Both of them has this really cool black aura around them when using their powers. Jiro's spirit form has a hole in the middle of his chest similar to that of a hollow, and both story revolves around demons who are crossing over to the real world from the spirit realm. Another similarity is that there is an overarching secret society, Black Torch has the Bureau of Espionage, and Bleach has the Soul Society. Both specializes in the elimination of demons and protecting the human world. Another similarity is that both Jiro and Ichigo were trained by a black cat who helps them control their newfound powers. So yeah, sounds a bit familiar, huh? Now, I wouldn't say Black Torch is a blank ripoff of Bleach or even Naruto, but I get the feeling that Takaki was heavily inspired by the two series. But given that this is only the first volume of a manga, I'm hoping that there will be at least a new or interesting twist to the shonen genre. Now let's talk about the art. Black Torch has this really cool sketchy style to it, which I really like, however some might disagree. The action sequence feels super high paced and the fight scenes look intense and powerful. Even though the backgrounds are not the most realistic thing in the world, it does give every panel something to look at and a lot of movement. The character designs look original and the sketchiness actually helps add some personalities to them. When the character speaks, I feel like I get a lot of facial expression with them. I don't know, I just think Takagi's style looks really cool and clean yet sketchy if that makes sense. 
And speaking of characters, here is a quick rundown of everybody. Jiro, as I mentioned, is our protagonist who comes from a long line of ninjas and can talk to animals. Raigo is a mysterious powerful demon who fuses with Jiro and takes the form of a black cat. Then there's the grandpa character who raises Jiro when he was a child and taught him the basic of his ninja skills. Then there's our heroine, Rosuke Shiba. She is a trainee for the Bureau of Espionage. All we really know about her is that she really hates Mononoke's and that the Bureau looks down on her because she's a girl. Then there's Ichika Koshimojin. He is Shiba's supervisor and he's the one that advocates that Jiro can be used as a weapon for taking out Mononoke's. If there was a con to this particular volume, I will have to say it felt kind of short. There was only 3 chapters and I just wanted to read more. So yeah, maybe that's being a little nitpicky, but I will say I'm definitely pick up a second volume. So is Black Torch worth the read? Well, if you like Bleach as much as I did and are looking for something to fill that void, then it is definitely worth checking out. There's something just comforting when reading a shonen manga that revolves around taking out evil demons in a badass way. I can totally see Jiro and Raigo going bung kai when they start leveling up as they take out bigger and badder demons. As for the art direction, I love it because it is unique and I really like the sketchiness of it. It makes every page feel monumental and fast paced. But yeah, I really do think Black Torch is the sole successor to Bleach in the best way possible. So if you're interested in picking this up, you can get the manga both digitally and physically through Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Business Shonen Jump app, and other comic book related shops and online store. Anyway, that's it for me. Like this video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you want to see more content like this. And do you guys miss Bleach as much as I do? Because I certainly do. Subscribe and tap that bell to stay updated. And if you're interested, please check out my website, funfortrue.com, and my Patreon for some exclusive content and merch. I also have a podcast called The Fun For True Podcast where I talk about nurturing the creative process and just having fun making stuff. All those links will be down below in the description. That would be greatly appreciated. As always, you can catch me on all the social media. I'm at fun for True, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, that took way too long. <laughs>